How, how do you um, go about incorporating the voice of the customer into innovation, for example? I mean, you know, in, in a lot of organizations, uh, you, you put products into the marketplace and then there's uh, feedback uh, mm -hmm. as opposed to the customer actually innovating on your behalf. I, I suppose it's quite a uh, over at Aston Martin, it's not like uh, customers can give feedback as to what the design of your car should look like, I'm imagining. So, but how do you incorporate in that with the customer voice? Uh, two elements to it. One is quantitative, and we, we've built it and we have it, of course, customer satisfaction measurement at the point of purchase, uh, earlier in the purchase funnel, all the way through to yeah. usage and driving the car and after sales and repeat purchase. It's the quant stuff. Um, where I would say we take the most inspiration from, you get you get product feedback as part of the quant measurable, measurable um, uh, um, um, journey, so to speak. But the non um, quantitative uh, engagement for us is incredibly important because we're so small very often our feedback um, comes at fa comes from face-to-face -face interaction yeah. driving cars with our customers mm -hmm. on ice or on a track or um, in a couple of weeks over in Austria on a, on, a, on a more of a lifestyle tour we're so close to our customers or we invite them to a round table and say come and have dinner with us talk to our chief designer our chief executive our chief engineer and tell us what you think and it's literally in these conversation that we take a lot out of it so those are, those are two points where I think we measure mm. both scientifically and more um, non-scientifically, but equally important. Yeah. And thirdly, it's having a really clear vision and opinion of, again, who we are. So yeah. some of it we listen to and some of it we just ignore. Yeah. Right? We're, not, we're not a brand for everyone. You have to be really clear. If you're too tall or too um, um, diplomatically, yeah. fat is the word. But if you don't fit <laughs> in our cars, it's tough stuff. We don't build cars to suit every person on this planet.